1920. That should do it. And one small P that I had to bring up all the way from the pantry, all the way up the most killing stairs in the kingdom. There, that should do it. All right, you can come in now. Did you bring everything, the hypnotic mirror? Yes, Your Majesty. And the rest of the things? Yes, yes madam. madam. And the girl, where is the girl? You'd think she'd be dropping from exhaustion. Mm -hmm. There you are, ready for bed. You should be sure to get a good night's rest for your trip back to your kingdom or wherever you're going. Uh, the hypnotic mirror. And the incantation? The wizard said it'd be, oh, yes. Here, Mr. Majesty. Uh, Silken, swishing simulants wraps us in a gentle trance. Deep in morphous songs we lie, off we go to Betty Bye. You know, I think I'm getting a sky right here. Uh, uh, the uh, poppy and Mandragorian. Dark and intense, sweet aroma wraps us in a gentle coma. Murmuring voices seem to say, Mr. Sandman's on his way. <coughs> uh, ah, that should do it. The sleep draft. Here, madam. Drink a little bit of warm milk and opium before I'm going to bed, I always say. Drink it down. Uh, and just to make sure you have no trouble drifting off, I've prepared a special treat for you. Bring on the Nightingale Summer Cons. Who has the Nightingale Summer Cons? Oh, naturally I have to do everything myself. <laughs> Sing, Birdie. Ah! Ah! You're gonna put a light princess to sleep, not to wake up a dead one. A lullaby, Birdie, nice and soft. Barely. So why aren't you in bed yet? Help her up. Am I almost there? At least one person in this kingdom is going to get a good night's rest. Absolutely die! 
here any minute. Oh, if she doesn't pass, I'll just kill myself. Shh. Don't talk. Here comes the queen. And someday, dear, we'll find you a true princess, so don't worry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Your Majesty. Off to see the princess on her way. Since she's such a favorite of ours, I've prepared an extra special consolation prize for her. Sir Sudley? Here you are, Your Majesty. A very thoughtful gift. Yes, yes, and, uh, Douglas! Oh, where is our little slug of bed? Oh. Hmm. oh, there she is. Look, she isn't even dressed yet. She must have slept like a baby. 37,428. 37,428 what? Sheep! What do you stuff your mattress with, with jousting equipment? What do you mean? I mean that bed ought to be moved down to the torture chamber. You didn't sleep? I never shut my eyes. You passed! Test what? The test! Mama wouldn't be under 20 mattresses and you fell to, and now we can get married! <laughs> And don't you think she's pretty? She's not pretty. She's beautiful. <laughs> Twenty mattresses, huh? Dotless, dear, I'll leave the wedding arrangements up to you. You might want to start looking around for a small kingdom for us. I've got a feeling we aren't going to want to live with the in-laws. <laughs> she's going to get cold sleeping on the floor there. I'd better take her up to her room. Dotless, wait. But what should I wait for, Mom? Keep this matter proper consideration. But she passed the test, and I have to take her up to her room. Now you listen to your mother throughout this whole heartbreaking business of trying to find a true princess I've never met, never interfered, never asked for one solitary word of sympathy. Oh, be quiet. I mean, she may have passed a test, but I would never trust anyone with those needle lies or shitty little mouth. Or... Mama, shh. Oh, I will not let you throw away your life on this greasy little nobody. I told you to shut up! It happened! The prophecy! The mouse devoured the hawk! Look, look, the queen can't talk. I, I, I can! <laughs> Do you understand? Go on. <laughs> 